morning. Hey, this is Chris. Keeping it real. Facts over fear. How you doing? Oh, I had a little. I have a little clarification. Not a clarification, but an idea that I left out of the video the other day about the mRNA vaccine and how it works. And so I just wanted to uh, put this out so that you can uh, or you have a little more information to act on. <clears throat> so the 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 cell. You know, when it wants to make a new protein, you know, the DNA helix unwinds, and the and the RNA, uh, and there's several. It's it's complicated, but basically, the helix unzips itself, and then the RNA picks up the information from the unzipped part, and then goes out into the cytoplasm, and then the, the process is in the cell, and I'm I'm not going to explain all that because I can't, but the processes in the cell take that fragment mRNA and they do what they do and out comes a protein and so that is the way things are supposed to be uh, when a virus attacks a cell it injects itself its mRNA into the cell and exactly the same thing happens the, the, the processes in the cell look at that they, they take it and they spit out a copy of the virus so it's the same process, it's the same, the same reaction. The, the, the cell, the, the, those processes in the cell don't know the difference. It doesn't matter to them, quote unquote, where, what the source is. It takes what's there, it takes what it gets, it spits it out, and, and you get what you get. And so this vaccine is exactly the same way. The only difference is the mRNA is coming from, well, like a virus, it's coming from outside the cell but it lacks the ability to inject itself in. And so scientists have figured out a way to encapsulate that to get it in, to get it inside the cell. But once it's inside the cell, the processes that are in the cell treat it exactly the same way as if it came from the nucleus or if it came from a, an actual virus. It's all just kind of automatic. It's like, it's like putting instructions into a computer, you know, you put in code, and you get something out, it doesn't matter where the code came from. It's not a really great analogy, but it's, it's the only one I can really think of right now. Uh, like a CNC machine, you know, computer controlled cutting machine. You know, you put in the instructions, you put in the material, and it, and it acts on the instructions and it spits out what it's supposed to spit out, regardless of what the instructions are. Unless the instructions don't work, and then it won't spit out anything, and of course, you know that's the, that's part of the deal with with this with this vaccine, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons why it took a little while to develop it is because you have to figure out which instructions work first, and then you know then you know what to encode into the mRNA. And so then, and the other thing I wanted to say was that the mRNA in this case for the for the vaccine is it's not being developed from some from living tissue or anything like that. It is being built. It is being synthesized in a lab, which is one of the reasons why they're going to be able to get so many doses out so quickly. It really it boils down to a matter of chemistry and biochemistry, and that's all it is. You know, we're not we're not doing we're not doing any genetics. We're they are not doing uh, human beings, right? Let's, let's be inclusive here. Uh, we are not doing anything with the nucleus of a cell. We are just we are just making a bit of a virus. And, uh, and that's it. And so I just wanted to explain that to you a little bit. You know, that it really makes no difference. The cell does what the cell does, in other words, is, is my first point. And the second point is there's, there's nothing fishy going on in regards to genetic engineering. This is, not, this is not genetic engineering. This is not going into the nucleus and, and messing with anything, You're messing with chromosomes or messing with sequencing or anything like that so, which gives me you know makes me feel a whole lot better about the virus and you know like I said before the only question is we this has never been done before and so men we tend to make a lot of mistakes uh, and if this were a case where we're just doing it because you know we can do it I would be a lot more hesitant I'm hesitant enough right now but I'd be really hesitant but this is for a good reason and so you know I'm, I'm I'm good I'm good with the methodology. I'm not not convinced so, so far that 
I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be the first in line to get a shot. But anyway, I just wanted to explain that a little further. Hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we'll see you on the next.